Hello children, good morning to you all. I am before you after many days. I just sent you the notes and all. I could not teach you the required lesson. The reason for this is I was not well. I could not teach any lesson. Same lesson, notes I give, difficult words, meanings and Krishna's and all. And now I am before you to teach the same poem. It is not even a lesson. It is a poem. Very beautiful poem which gives some message to us. The name of the poem is The Frog in the Nightingale. Understand. Actually, many sessions I have completed. Difficult words, question answers, meanings. Here, actually it is session 1. Which is about the explanation of the poem A Frog and the Nightingale. So, we are going to do the poem. It is a poem but very big one in the form of a story. So, we can we take it as explanation just like the lesson. The Frog and the Nightingale You all know very well what is frog and what is nightingale. Nightingale is a bird which is famous for its melodious voice sound. Understand? So that one who sings very so sweetly, they are compared, compared to or referred to the nightingale. So Sarojini Naidu of our country, the great freedom fighter plus the uh, poetess, she is referred to or known as the Nightingale of India. Even our great singer Lata Mangeshkar, she is uh, even treated as the goddess of melody, Ma Saraswati. Understand? So she is also. Compared to nightingale. Because their voices are so beautiful, melodious. Everybody cannot do that, what they did in their lives. Understand? Nowadays, many singers are coming up whose voices are very good. Hmm? So, here we are going to learn one proper lesson through this poem, The Frog and the Nightingale. What we are going to learn is, if anybody comes and tells something without understanding, without thinking over it, or without thinking whether they are telling us the truth or not, whether it is good for us or not, whether it harms our Talent, I can say, or career. Hmm? Without knowing all these things, if you just believe them and agree to do what they say, it will take you to the destruction. It will take you to the destruction. It means your talent, whether by their talk only will come to know whether they are they want to harm you. To spoil your talent or to spoil your ability, spoil your cleverness, whatever it is. Understand? 
if they are becoming personal with you think that they are somewhere the enemies of you they don't want you to go uh, or to say for better than them they think that they are the great people in the society they think they are the cleverest children in the class they don't want others to overtake them they don't want to want others to overtake them suppose in your class two children are there pranay and mohan both are good at studies pranay is also so good and even mohan also is very good in all the ways and some other child comes and says something that i am my i my father will teach you i am what you are reading this this is not good don't read all this let us play and reading is always there if you listen to them what will happen your studies will get spoiled one day you will get less marks that day you get the threatens uh, threats from your parents teachers everybody one who is uh, considered just now i am telling mohan is such a good boy or pranay is such a good boy in our class but if uh, their image spoils their what to say their image how they are if it gets uh, uh, wrong then they will not prove themselves once again once gone is gone always you remember it takes lot of time to recollect regain so always we have to think that one who is becoming personal with us they are touching our what to say Uh, talking about our talent or our personal matters think that they are the big enemies for us understand nobody should have any right to spoil us that's why always we have to be careful that's what happened with the nightingale in our lesson see there was a bog bog means marshy land wet land where frogs and all live it used to croak day and night croaking you know very bad sound it used to make oh, 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 like that whole day and night it used to uh, from right from early morning till night it used to croak and one day there arrived a nightingale in the bog then nightingale sang very beautifully melodiously sweetly its beautiful songs cast such a spell on all other animals of the bog that the frog grew jealous of her so all the animals her voice cast such a spell means what impression the nightingale's voice left such an impression on the other animals in the bog that they are have become the fans in your words now of the nightingale this was not liked by this was not liked by the frog this was not liked by the frog so the frog became or felt jealous of nightingale the frog felt or became jealous of nightingale so she wanted to the frog as the frog became jealous of or felt jealous of the nightingale it wanted to spoil its image nightingale image somehow understand so it played a trick what trick it played the next day he introduced himself to the nightingale as a musician and offered to train her next day the frog introduced 
the nightingale that he was a musician of that area he has a very good knowledge of music so he can train him train means make perfect make others learn more and more about anything it is called training a pt teacher gives you physical training english teacher gives you the training in spoken english means giving more and more practice a kind of understand training means giving more and more practice about something it is called training so it said he is the musician in that bog and he could give good training to the one who learns music so blindly the nightingale believes the frog and nightingale's training began this is what is the introduction about the poem now we are going to read the lines of the poem and learn it i am going to read and explain you the poem so here starts our poem the frog and the nightingale though next morning it was raining he began her vocal training but i can't sing in this weather come my dear we will sing together just put on your scarf and sash kuho ho kuho so the frog and nightingale journeyed up and down the scale for 6 hours till she was shivering and her voice was hoarse and quivering so next morning the frog started to train the nightingale in music it was raining very heavily though it was raining heavily the frog came out and because it lives in water also amphibian no so that uh, it doesn't make any uh, uh, problem or a difference for the frog even if it rains if it rains it will be more hap happier to be in the rain wet place but it will affect other people like human beings other animals birds so they take shelter in such a place where there is no rain even in the forest also so though it was raining he began her training he means who he means frog her means was nightingales nay so the frog began the nightingales training okay so the nightingale felt very afraid to be in such a harsh weather cool weather how we are suffering children since our sankranti holidays and festival very cool it is affecting our health also so we are unable to come out we are unable to do any work it happened with me for 3 days from 26th uh, till now today i am better so that i can teach you so that sadly i could send you only the typed matter understand i was not well full cough cold and all hmm? so in this way other people cannot withstand the cold climate human beings birds other animals one who are in water it makes no difference for them so in that way it was good for the frog even if it is raining but for the nightingale it did not bear it any more it did not bear it any more and it was unable to sing melodiously in such a harsh weather the weather that cool weather when it was raining heavily it was not suitable or <coughs> comfortable for the 
नाइटिंगेल टू गेट वोकल ट्रेनिंग वोकल मीन्स मीन्स रिलेटेड टू साउंड वोकल ट्रेनिंग मीन्स रिलेटेड टू थ्रोट एंड साउंड अंडरस्टैंड हेट इज कॉल्ड वोकल ट्रेनिंग वॉइस वॉइस मॉडिफिकेशन वी कैन कॉल रिलेटेड टू वॉइस इज कॉल्ड वोकल ट्रेनिंग सो वेन द फ्रॉक स्टार्टेड वेन द फ्रॉक स्टार्टेड द ट्रेनिंग द नाइटिंग गेल वॉज नॉट रेडी एट ऑल द नाइटिंग गेल वॉज नॉट एट ऑल रेडी वॉट इट सेट बट आई कॉन्ट सिंग इन दिस वेदर इन सच ए वेदर आई के नॉट सिंग सेट द नाइटिंग कम माई डियर वी विल सिंग टूगेदर come on nothing will happen we both sing together you say it is a cold weather do one thing put on your scarf and sash scarf you know <coughs> which you stole now we are calling it new name which we big kerchief we used to cover our head it is called scarf and sash sash is a long cloth cotton woolen we call it muffler children in our language we use it around our neck to keep it warm so <coughs> the frog said put on your sash and scarf and come and let us sing together and they started singing ko ho ko ho ko ho big voice so the frog and the nightingale <coughs> journeyed up and down the scale journeyed up and down the scale scale means not the one which we used to draw the line here scale means musical notes sa re ga ma pa da ni sa hmm these are seven notes of the music so they are going up and down the notes they were not properly catching the notes scale of the music <coughs> for how many hours they practiced 6 hours in the morning in such a bad weather they practiced for 6 hours in the morning understand so when it was practicing for 6 hours the nightingale was shivering and her voice was hoarse and quivering hoarse means became very very what to say rough and harsh which is not at all sweet and her voice started shaking shaking voice <coughs> quivering means shaking do subdued and sleep deprived in the night her throat revived and the samak tree was bowed with a breathless tilt tightened crowd owl of sandwich duck of kent mallard and milady trent martin cardinal mephisto and the coot of mont cristo these all are the names of birds which are found in rainforest children not in india they are the english names mostly they are found in american rainforest in amazon rainforest what are the samak tree a kind of tree bowed its head because of cold and the breathless tilt titled crowd uh, because many animal birds took shelter on this samak tree many birds took shelter on this tree they sat on this tree to save themselves 
or to protect themselves from the cold. So it bent, it bowed means it bent totally with the weight of these uh, birds. Which birds? Owl of Sandwich, Duck of Kent, <coughs> Mallard and Milady, Trent, Martin, Cardinal, Mephisto and the Coot of Mount Cristo. These are the different types of birds which sat on Samak tree. Hmm. Subdued means felt very sad. Understand? All these birds felt very sad and deprived of the sleep. Why? To hear this harsh sound of both nightingale and the frog who got up early morning and for six hours they were practicing vocally. This disturbed the sleep of other birds. <coughs> In the night her throat revived. Eh? Nightingale's throat became little better at night. Understand? And morning again when she saw it was so harsh, unbearable for the animals. Ladies with the tiaras glittering, <coughs> ladies with the tiaras glittering, in the interval sat twittering, and the frog observed them glitter with a joy both sweet and bitter. The ladies means who are the ladies? Birds. Here this word is referred to birds. They have crown on their uh, head. It is referred to as tiara. Tiara means crown. They sat together and they were chit-chatting. Chatting about something. Sharing their joys and sorrows. Sweet and bitter experiences. Understand? They were glittering with that tiara on their head. Every day the frog who had sold her songs for silver tried to scold her. <coughs> Every day the frog forced the nightingale to sing. She sold her songs for silver. Silver means money. Here. And she scolded the nightingale and forced her to sing. You must practice even longer till your voice like mine grows stronger. You should practice till your voice becomes like mine. Understand? So you need lot of practice. More than six hours also you need to practice. In the second song, last night you got nervous in midnight. First song was okay. When you sang the second song, you were nervous. Your voice was not so good. And my dear, lay on more trills. <coughs> you, please, con lay on means don't sleep on anything. Here lay on means concentrate on more trills. Trills means more and more practices. More, more, more and more notes you can take out from your voice. Understand? And my dear, lay on more trills. You must, uh, audiences enjoy such frills. Extra features. You add extra um, something <coughs> more to your voice. So that audiences. Who are audiences? One who sit and... <coughs> <coughs> Listen are called audiences. Hmm? They become happier to listen to your song. Give them something sharper, snappier. We must aim for better buildings. You please give, contribute with your voice something good. 
that the audience can feel happy with you so that we our billing will be good billing means we can collect more and more money we can have more and more profit please concentrate on these things said the frog to the nightingale we must aim for better billings you still oh me 60 shillings day by day the nightingale grew more sorrowful and pale so tuition fees he is taking he is taking frog <coughs> so you owe me you have to give me 60 shillings so if you sing better then only you can give me that money please do it said the frog then here we stop and we will find out whether the frog uh, whether the nightingale listen to frog's words and what happened to the nightingale in the end tomorrow we continue it okay so thank you children <coughs>